So Christmas approaching, I thought we'd have a little catch up with still the Kent President, Graham Johnson, and of course, perhaps of more interest to you, uh, the Chairman of Cricket. And I suppose the first place to start, Graham, is with the fixture list having come out, had a good look at it. It's always a time of anticipation. I've had a look at it. I was like a big lad in a sweet shop. So much to look forward to next year. No, that's fantastic. But uh, I mean, the first thing to say, Steve, is uh, that's a fantastic way to go to the suit. I know. Um, I know it's Christmas, but it's come early. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> fixture list, uh, unbelievable, really. Uh, I, I, we just had the uh, members' carvery for Christmas, and uh, I think one of the things I said was, one of the, what could be better after a year of president or being president next year? Because if you look at that list, uh, it's fantastic. Three festivals to look forward to. Um, Australians coming, both male and female, uh, and Canterbury Week, which was a, a, a bit of a struggle the way they, they uh, timetabled it this year, but we've got it in the right place in the middle of the week, so we're back to where, exactly where we want to be. So, um, sides shaping up pretty well, uh, members have got a lot, lot to look forward to. Talked about the side shaping up well, of course one yeah. person is returning to us next year, Joe Denley, give us yeah. the thoughts behind that. Um, <laughs> We were all sad when Joe left in the first place and didn't want that to happen. Um, the way it's gone for him at Middlesex, uh, probably not as well as he w wanted. Uh, it, time is exactly right with what we want because we want uh, a guy of his age with his experience and talent coming in to, to be part of our, our, our batting unit. And uh, we always look around at what batters are available and bowlers. Um, and when there was a, an inkling that uh, Joe might be available, well, he was just uh, top pick uh, of anything that was around, so why wouldn't you? Uh, the other thing that's to be said is uh, we're always keen to have people here who can to art, come through the system, know what we stand for and how we play, and it's just brilliant to have him back. Uh, someone, of course, who was perhaps a little bit up in the air, but has re-signed James Treble, great news, it's almost like having another signing, isn't it? What Good question came up upstairs during the carvery about yeah. playing him and Adam Riley. Would there be scope to play them both, particularly in four-day cricket? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's, uh, the answer I gave up there was a nice problem to have. We haven't had it for, for a while. Uh, they're, they're two great bowlers, um, one who's established himself and been around for a while, one who's, who's, who's building up on great potential. But um, I mean, it's not either or, it's based on form, uh, situation in the game. Uh, we've got to balance it against uh, the makeup of what's needed on certain wickets, but certainly you could see those two guys, uh, given form, uh, playing in the side together. Uh, if we get a, a normal pattern of a summer where the back end of the season where you tend to get drier wickets, this year's been a bit unusual with the amount of rainfall and the effect on wickets, but back end of the season, hopefully what we'll see is those two in the side bowling us to promotion uh, to Division 1, and that, that would be great. Now, Dougie Bollinger was with us for most of last year, wasn't he? Is, is there work going on at the moment? Is there a desire to have an overseas player here for next year? Mm -hmm. There is. We're, we're trying to get the red wine glass that he stole from the <laughs> President's party on his last night. That's the, that's the main thing. But uh, uh, being serious, we always monitor uh, what's around. Um, we, we, we are still doing that. Uh, obviously, what key part of building up to Christmas is what shapes the rest of our bowling unit in. Um, we've got a lot of potential in the youngsters there. A um, couple suffered injuries during the year. Callum, uh, David Griffiths, we would have wanted them bowling more. Uh, they've been doing a lot of strength and conditioning work. People like Matt Hahn and Charlie Hartley uh, all coming through. So uh, we want to monitor where they are, um, but always aware that uh, the, the right person to spearhead an attack like that Again, given the right sort of uh, personality and fit with the dressing room, we're always monitoring that. Uh, I can't give you any news at the moment, but um, be assured that we're, we're looking into that. So I take it it's a, it's a really busy time of year for Chairman of Cricket. How about uh, the President of the club? Is it, oh, what, is, what, what do you do? Oh, no, yeah. The President's retired. Yes. Right. Just comes and talks to very interesting people on camera. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what an honour <laughs> <What an honor. laughs> it must be. <laughs> No, uh, the president does less in the winter, it's fair to say, than, than in the summer. Depends how you do it. I mean, we wanted to go to as much cricket as possible. Uh, the chairman of cricket uh, thing, the bulk of that is done. There are just one or two things like um, 
uh, now we've got the fixture list out, how we prepare various aspects, uh, whether it's the side, the ground, uh, and now we know where we're playing, how that all shapes up, and of course, um, keeping an eye on what the squad's doing and any potential additions to, to the squad overseas. So um, both the president and the chairman of cricket um, has a, a looking forward to a, a relaxed, enjoyable, and hopeful Christmas and New Year. And of course you have to nominate a new president, don't you? Yeah. Have so you got someone in mind? Oh, well, I haven't asked you whether you're available. He's a bit busy, I'm afraid. But oh, I, I, having spoken about Treadwell and Riley, what we want, if we can just have a look at the hand here, is them to have a spinning finger that looks like this in about 20, 30 years' time. That, that is the spinning finger, is it not? That is the spinning yeah. finger. It's, it's been altered by an Irish surgeon so that uh, I'm going now into umpiring. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone are going to be out by the looks of it. Yeah. Anyway, Graham Johnson, a busy man as chairman of cricket, perhaps not quite so as president, but we thank you for the work that you've done this year in that role. Look forward to seeing you back here, of course, as the chairman for 2015. Plenty to look forward to that fixture list. If you haven't seen it yet, on the website, kentcricket.co.uk, I swear you'll be licking your lips. <laughs>